absolutely fabulous. Oh, what's your secret? Thank you. I don't know. Not getting up at, at you know sparrow fart. <laughs> Is that how it felt this morning? <laughs> <laughs> what's it like to, to, to be? This is obvi an obvious question, but it's one that I think is quite interesting. You you grew up in this extraordinary dynastic acting mm. family. And you became a child star. Many people who've been child stars say it ruins their lives, it takes away, the, steals their childhood in many ways. Did you, did you feel that? Did you experience that? Or because you were protected by the blanket of, a, of an acting family, was it easier for you? Um, <clears throat> it had its ups and downs. Mm. Um, it, uh, it, it, it isolated me mm. for a while, quite a lot, because my peers were not in the business because I never moved to Hollywood. I didn't right. stay there. Uh, I came back to school. Um, Was that the key to keeping grounded? Um, As if you get swept up in that world that you're probably not mature enough to handle. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be the thing that destroys you. Uh, well, yes, I think so. But, you know, fame is a, is a difficult thing. Mm. Attention is a, a very difficult thing, and it, 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 you know, it turns you in on yourself quite a bit. It can make people monsters, fame. I, make... I think it's a very pernicious drug. It can be, yeah. especially, by the way, when, it, when it's taken away from people who've had it, it can be very, very difficult to go back to normality and mm. relative anonymity, can't it? I mean, I... I don't, I'm not saying that to you, but for other people, I've seen it happen many times. Yeah, yeah, it's true. You know, but, 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 but our business is... Um... It's a wonderful, wonderful business to be in, and I, I you know, I, I realised very early on how extremely lucky I was. My middle middle son's an actor, just left Lambda Drama School, gone off into the big, bad world of auditions and all that process. Mm. I mean, what advice do you give to young actors now? I mean, it's obviously changed a lot, the business, but you obviously still love the industry. What, what advice would you give a young actor? Um... I, I think, you know, do whatever you can to keep your feet on the ground. Don't read your notices. Mm. Don't read the good ones, don't read the bad but ones. Try very hard not but to, doesn't anyway. It, but doesn't, <laughs> doesn't everybody read them? Well... They all say they don't, but they all do, don't they? Well, no, I don't read really? them. I don't. Well... You don't read reviews? No, I don't. And particularly in the theatre. Don't read them in the theatre. Because you read them and the next night you have to go yes. on <laughs> feeling like a bewildered I mean, that's parent, hard, isn't whatever it? they say. If you'd been you told you absolutely suck in this play and then the next right. night you've got to go and perform it... There you are. I can't What's imagine you were like? ever... Yeah, I doubt you've that. ever had it, but... What, I mean, oh, I have. Of course I really? have. You know, uh, and they point out some specific things. Thing. Oh my God! And the way she picked up the glass, <laughs> and you're doing it, you know, you're obsessed you know, about it. You know, <laughs> it, it's awful. It, it's one really of, awful. One of the other things I think that you know, someone like you in your position has to handle is press coverage, and it's a huge story this morning with Prince Harry launching this scathing criticism of the way that his wife has been treated in the press. You know, there is an argument, and I know Piers would. I mean, you can speak for yourself, Bess, but, but that, you know, once your publicity tap is turned on, it's hard to turn off. But I stand by the position that you are still entitled to a certain privacy and, uh, you know, level of treatment. What, what's your view? And have you experienced that intrusion or, is, or have you just played the game with the press? Um, it's very difficult to just play the game because you're leading your life, you know, and your life you know, uh, it kind of veers into areas sometimes that, that certain elements of the press find very interesting and feel that it's their right to investigate, mm -hmm. and if I may use the word, pry. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, everyone's private life has painful, difficult, challenging moments, and we all make mistakes. And we learn from those mistakes. We shouldn't be castigated for the mistakes that we make because they are part of our learning. Mm -hmm. my, see, my issue... I have a slightly double-edged view of this because I've been on both sides of the fence. So I've been the tabloid editor and I've been a TV personality or whatever you want to call it. And so I've had both sides of it. I've had lots of scathing press attention myself and I've dished it out. And I think the, the bottom line is, is it fair? Is it justified? In other words, I never mind being criticised myself if I actually felt, you know what, they've got a point. I did object if it was based on 
inaccuracy or pure invention. That's where I have sympathy with people. But I don't have any sympathy if you want to play the media game mm. and use it for personal gain, as almost everybody in our business does, and the royals certainly do. I find it hard when they want to try and control mm. that tap of coverage. And the sad thing about Meghan and Harry, and we're about to debate this, is they've just gone to Africa, where you've done lots of work, I know yourself, in Kenya and Malawi and so on. They've shone such a bright light on so many issues in South Africa. Mm. And yet, here they are with the only narrative at the end of it all being a war with the media. I think it's sad. Yes, yes, but I think the media has a responsibility uh, in this because they are developing this war because it, it, it's, you know, it's what they feed on. But I wouldn't say it's... So, I think what the media is doing, they're, they're treating them like two huge stars, which they are. And, of course, if you don't want the publicity, you don't, have to, you don't have to engage. You don't have to do anything. Yeah, but I don't think it should be all or nothing. Anyway, we're about to discuss that <laughs> uh, with a form another former tabloid editor next. Absolutely lovely to see you. Sorry for making you get up and Sparrow's 60th part. anniversary <laughs> of Tiger Bay. Isn't that amazing? You're not old enough to have a 60th anniversary of anything. Uh, yes. Fabulous to see you. Congratulations. Thank, thank, thank you so lovely much. to see you. Very, and we'll very see you in Ibiza with Judge Rinder. He wants me to go. Special message for Judge Rinder this yeah. morning. Yes, give him my love. I will. Don't oh, my do that. Goodness. He'll explode. He will. <laughs> honestly, I mean, he literally, honestly, he was foaming at the mouth when so he was nice 60. to see you. Thank you so much.